On Saturday, the Page League Cross Country Championships will take place at Colgate University as the Boston U women and the Navy men will look to defend their titles. Full video highlights and interviews will be available on the PLN on Sunday. We now know the sites of two other fall championships as Boston U locked up bids in field hockey and women's soccer, while an overtime upset in men's soccer has paved the way for an exciting race to the finish. The top four seeds in women's soccer have been decided as Bucknell locked up the other bye and Navy and Loyola earned quarterfinal hosting rights after a busy week with a pair of league games for each team. On Wednesday, Boston U's McKenna Doyle scored her fifth goal of the season in a 3-0 blanking of Holy Cross. Talia Zetkowski and Madison Luce each scored goals for Bucknell in a 2-0 win over Loyola. Grace Carell came up with the golden goal for Lehigh in the 103rd minute to beat Lafayette 1-0. Claire McAdam tallied her league best ninth goal as Navy blanked American on the road 2-0. A late goal in the 84th minute by Katherine Williams helped lift Colgate over Army West Point 1-0. On Saturday, McKenna Doyle added another goal to her rookie season total as Boston U shut out Army West Point 2-0. Rosie Hayes tallied her eighth goal and added an assist as Loyola netted three in the first half of a 3-2 win over Colgate. Bucknell's Alexis Gannon scored her fourth goal of the season as the Bison cruised to a 3-0 win over Lehigh. Lafayette's Julia Westcott scored the game's only goal on a penalty kick in the 64th minute as the Leopards shut out Navy. An unfortunate bounce for Holy Cross on Danielle Beard's floating shot helped American draw even in the 86th minute of a 1-1 draw. In field hockey, the top three teams have clinched, while Holy Cross scored a big win over Lafayette to position itself into the fourth spot heading into the final weekend. Rachel Cole scored a pair of goals on Saturday as number 17 Boston U remained undefeated in league play with a 6 0 win over Bucknell in a rematch of last year's championship game. Maureen Connolly scored twice for Holy Cross as the Crusaders used three second half goals to beat Lafayette 3 2. Colgate's Claire Molly scored with 2.27 left to not the score at 1, but Lehigh's Cassidy Green fired home a rebound in overtime to give the Mountain Hawks a 2 1 win. With three games left and seven teams separated by just five points, there's plenty of time for the standings in men's soccer to be shaken up before the tournament field is set. Lehigh helped forge the logjam on Saturday against Boston U, which needed a late goal in the 83rd minute from Felix DeBona to tie the game at two. But in the first minute of overtime, Doyle Tuvison found a seam and scored the game winner for Lehigh. Americans Joel Hart scored the first of three second-half goals during a 12-minute span, and Liam Robley scored on a set piece to close out the 3-0 win over Bucknell. Army West Point's Alex Yaroshak scored off a cross in the 41st minute at Loyola, and the Black Knights held on for the 1-0 win. Arno Rupp headed in the game-winning goal in the 71st minute to lift Holy Cross over Lafayette 1-0. American and Army West Point remain out in front in women's volleyball after a pair of wins last week. The Eagles have won 15 straight sets in league play after a pair of 3-0 sweeps last week over Bucknell and Lafayette. They'll be able to lock up a tournament bid with a win Tuesday night over Navy. Nicole Perry had 35 kills for Army West Point in a pair of 3-1 wins last week as the Black Knights beat Holy Cross and Colgate. Navy is on a roll in volleyball too, having won four straight matches, including a 3-1 win over Lehigh to vault into the hunt for a tournament bid. To watch the tournament races unfold live on the PLN, log on to PageLeague.tv. For the PageLeague Network, I'm Melanie Pulowski.